Welcome to Blood Bath and Beyond. It's Valentine's Day, so we're gonna get sexy with it, and we're going to the girl house. Directed by Trevor Matthews, written by Nick Gordon, starring Ali Cobrin, Adam DeMarco, and Slane, distributed by Phase 4 Films, Girl House is about a girl who needs money for tuition. So she joins the Cam House, or the Girl House, to raise money by doing videos on webcam for lonely or sometimes nice men. What do we like about this film, guys? I'd like to kick it off with Slane, a rapper I already liked, being the killer in this movie. I thought he was really good at being like this creepy lover boy big character who just fucking goes on a rampage. And I really enjoyed that we got his motivations right off the bat. Basically, he's taunted when he's a kid. Some girls like make him pull down his pants and they say his dick's small. And then he starts killing girls from that that point on. And it's cool because we got his name from those girls because they made fun of him calling him lover boy. Some people want the final act revelation, but I think it works much better right off the top. I also enjoyed his look. It was really cool that they like put some weird mask on him. It looked like a blow up doll's head and he cut the lips off and that's what he was wearing. Wearing, and it was fucking creepy. He was just like a computer IT guy, but he had like all the tools on him and those are his weapons for killing. He's like, I'm <laughs> coming here to kill, so I'll bring all the tools necessary to do the job like he would at work. I really enjoyed the concept of this story and the idea that people are watching a webcam show. The reactions from the audience members were really cool and really realistic. They hesitated because they didn't know if this is just some sort of prank, some sort of fetish thing. A lot of the time when people use camera footage, it looks distorted, it looks shitty. In this one, they still had HD cameras, which was super realistic. They did have a little bit of a frame rate issue, which helped you separate the main cameras from the webcam in-house cameras, but they also had the little girl house branding in the lower left corner and which room we were in on the lower right corner. And that was a great addition to make sure you knew which cameras we were watching. I thought the cinematography was really well done. We are seeing so many different shots and so many different feeds of where he is in the room and how they hide him. It was extremely creepy. The girls in the house, I think, it's very hard to get them done right. There's a chance of them not being relatable, being too bitchy, or just being like eye candy. But I think they gave them all a different personality. They seemed empowered. They didn't seem taken advantage of. This There's a risk of being like too much about like exploitation, but these yeah. obviously were girls who felt safe, who chose to do this. And I think that's something very important that they needed to do in this type of film. Yeah, and I want to touch base on how smart most of these girls were. Like the decisions they made once they realized something was going on, they did a pretty good job holding their own. We had a, a strong female cast once again. Mm -hmm. Very few and far between. All the acting was really good and believable. And all of the girls in this movie were babes. And we do get a lot of nudity. Uh, we get them in sexually suggestive scenes, but not over the top. I think if they did overdo it, it would downplay what Trav was talking about, like the, having this, the strong females like be normal girls, <laughs> yeah. you know? They're not sluts, they're just doing something to get by. So the gore in this film was pretty good. Obviously, we want a little more on screen, but what we got was really cool. Well, we may not have seen everything on screen. Everything was really brutal. And I think that was really conveyed with the excellent sound design. What don't we like about this film, guys? We were talking about how empowered the girls were. The characters that we got out of them deserved, I think, to put up a little more of a struggle. It seemed like the rooms were a little small for this huge guy to be lurking around. I feel like he would have been noticed and that there would have been a little <laughs> right, bit yeah. of, of a fight. And I think that was just the one little, it's a little nitpicky because I know we have to make concessions for horror, but it's just something that I noticed. Even though I really enjoyed Slane, who played Loverboy, he spoke three or four times throughout the film and I thought that it didn't need to happen and just to have him deliver like one line like not nice when he's attacking someone or about to attack someone we don't need it there and I found it took a little bit away from his silent stalking beefiness you know he was hacking all this shit maybe just speak to them through text but I wish you busted out like a sweet mm. rap or something just bring in La Coca Nostra and just lay down some <laughs> shit I didn't really like how Ben and Kylie's story developed these are the main leads he saw Kylie on webcam and decided, I'm gonna drive 70 miles to her college and spark up a conversation. I think that whole development was very weird and I think it came out of nowhere. It did 
need to happen, but I think it was done incorrectly. It's time for our final thoughts and ratings. I thought this was actually a really cool movie. We had a nice invasion slasher mix, and I think Slane did a killer job as the killer. I love that we had a backstory. I loved his demeanor. I loved the kills in this movie. I thought the cinematography and the use of the webcams was really great, though I think they could have done a lot more with the development of the main story arc. But I mean, this was a pretty solid film and I think a lot of you guys are gonna enjoy it. So I'm gonna give this three and a half cream slingers out of five. Girl House was a pretty cool film. We got a really cool killer and the practical effects and the way he killed people was awesome. There was a few parts though that they could have fixed with their story and character development, but it didn't take a lot away from the film. So that being said, I'm going to give this movie three chicken balls flying across the table out of five. I enjoyed the movie. I think it needs to be pushed just a little bit longer and a little more details to be cleared up and you would have had a much better movie, but it's still enjoyable. I think everyone's going to enjoy it. You know, it's filmed on like a mil and a half, which is really well done for that because it looked beautiful. So I'm going to give this three Bruce Lee posters so I know that the character is Asian out of five. As always, thanks for watching, like this video, and comment below with what you're watching on Valentine's Day. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything we're doing here on Bloodbath and beyond. Thank you for watching, and happy Valentine's Day.